Welcome to my home. Why did you kidnap me? Because we're gonna play a game. Okay, man, whatever I did to you, I'm sorry. Just let me go. Uh, uh, uh. This isn't personal. And I will let you go if you can beat me on my own game. A game? What type of game? A related rates game! Calculus? Alright, let's do this. What are the rules to your game? Well, pretty much every time you get a question wrong, I hurt you. If I see you are a master of related rates, I let you go. Alright, then what are we waiting for? Question 1. Now say space shuttle's taking off and a camera's tracking it. If the position equation is y equals 85 t squared, or y is measured in feet and t is measured in seconds, and the camera's 3,500 feet from the launch pad, find the rate of change in the angle of elevation of the camera 15 seconds after liftoff. Alright, brain, help me out here. Now, to do this, we're gonna draw a triangle. That will be the angle of elevation, and this is the camera right here, alright, and it's 3,500 feet away from the space shuttle, which is Y high. Uh, so if our equation is Y equals 85 T squared, then and uh, t is equal to 15 and we just plug in 15 right here and we square it and to find out what y is we use a calculator which will be 19 25. Alright. So, from there, we proceed to find the angle, which we will get that over, y will be over 3,500 feet, and So after you plug in this equation for y, uh, you're going to simplify it. And then after that, you uh, get the derivative of each side. And then from this other triangle over here, where you use the Pythagorean theorem, you get the hypotenuse and you plug it in for secant. And from there you square it and you divide this side by this very large number and you get this very, very small number which is the rate at which is changing for feet a second. Well, the answer is obviously 2 to the negative 9th feet per second. Marvelous. Great job. Correct. Yeah! Now, second question. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Maybe it was a cops. Well, back to the question. Say the sun is setting and a four foot kid is moving three feet per second away from a 20 foot tree. When the kid is 15 feet away from the base of the tree, at what rate is the tip of the shadow moving? Come on, little Adrian, help me out here. All right, now for this equation, we were given d of y over d of t, uh, which was the rate of change where the kid was walking away, was 3 feet a second. And y is equal to 15 feet, which is how far the kid is away from the tree. So, drawing this triangle of uh, the tree related to the kid, we got the, um, the distance between the kid and the tree is y. And the distance between the kid and the sh tip of the shadow is x minus y. And the, dis the distance between the tree and the tip of the shadow is x. So in order to solve this, we got to split it up into two smaller triangles. So one of the triangles is 4, and 
x minus y, and the other triangle is 20 over x. And uh, to find this, we get uh, portions of stuff, and here we got 4 over x minus y is equal to 20x, and from there we can uh, multiply 4 by x and 20 by x minus y, and we get 4x is equal to 20x minus 20y. And if we do some math, we get x is equal to 5 over 4y. And then we get the derivative of each side. So then we get d of x of d of t is equal to 5 over 4 d of y of d of t. And plugging in 3, which is d of y of d of t, we get 15 over 4. Would the answer be 15 over 4? That's wrong. What? No, it's not? Yes, it is. How? You forgot to include units. It's not fair, though. I got the math right. Oh, well. Prepare to die. Eh, no! Eh, eh, eh. <laughs>